Today I'm going to show you real quick on how to install and run and stream to Twitch TV uh, for gaming. Uh, before you get started, you're going to need to download a couple things, and one of them is going to be Pulse Audio. To download Pulse Audio, just go to your Ubuntu Software Center, type in P U L S E A U D I O, Pulse Audio, all one word. The it should be the first result. Go to it, and I already have it installed, but if you do not have it installed, you'll see the install button here. Click install type your password and allow it to install all right once that's installed you can go down I'll just let you know I'll have the links to all this stuff and the link to this blog my blog where you can follow step by step but uh this blog is a little convoluted because it's also for desktop streaming so I'm we're just gonna do I mean desktop recording we're just gonna do streaming to twitch so all you need is pulse out of volume control once you have that you're going to want to go to it and open it but okay but i already have it running because i'm using it to record this screencast but if you do not have it running you're going to go going to go to this recording tab and there will be nothing in here uh to get it set up what you want to do to start recording something so you might we you might want to install something like audacity which is uh good to have anyways install that and then hit the record button then you'll see uh something similar to what i have pop up here this is uh, audacity right here you can see the little icon and what you're going to want to do is change it to you click here and change it to monitor built-in audio or monitor whatever your onboard audio is called not any not not the built-in audio but the monitoring of the built-in audio what that's going to do is allow you to capture the um the sound from the game so once you have that done you can stop your recording and it'll disappear again and, and then close this Hold on just a second. So let's skip down to live streaming to Twitch, getting that set up. To do that, just right click on your desktop, go to new document, empty. We're going to call it twitch.sh. Open it with the text editor of your choice. And then take everything in here and copy it. Control C, Control V. Okay, now to set this up, what you want to do is right here where it says in res equals, you want to change this to your monitor resolution. Mine is 1920 by 1080. And then this part right here where it says out res, you want to change that to what you want to stream at. <clears throat> if you have a good enough connection and you think that you can stream it at your full monitor resolution, go ahead and set that to the same as your in res. Or if you have a spotty, connect, a spotty connection or not a very good connection, set that to something uh, s smaller. And for me, I'll set that to 1280 by 720 because it retains the, the res not the resolution but the um, monitor ratio of 16 by 9 uh, FPS just go ahead and leave that at 30 and quality I left mine at medium uh, you might want to play around with this after you get everything set up but uh, to start with let's just leave that at medium then down here you can go to where it says threads and change that to the amount of the the number of cores that you have on your processor I have a Intel i5 quad core so that's four cores if you have maybe one of the AMD six cores or AMD eight cores you change that to six or eight respectively but I have a four core so I'm gonna change that to four 
and here's where you can set your connection speed uh i left my i left it at the default of 712,000. uh i would start there for now but if you have a pretty strong up uh upload speed you can ch uh change it up to like 1 million or just just play around with it but to start with let's just leave it there okay once we've done all that you just hit save and then make sure it's on your close it make sure it's on your desktop still I like to always check to make sure everything is changed correctly I see all my chains stuck so I'm gonna close that and what we're gonna do is go to our web browser actually I don't know why I opened that let's go to our web browser go to twitch dot TV slash broadcast enter let's see here let's try to move that over all right now here's a button here that so that says show key when you click that you're gonna get a a long string of numbers and letters I'm not gonna click mine because if I if I did that you could use my key to stream to my channel but just click it you'll see a long list of stuff to uh, numbers and letters so I'm gonna make one up you start right click on the desktop start a new empty document and we're gonna call that this one dot oops it's not typing dot twitch dot key is it no 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 excuse me dot twitch underscore key enter okay didn't rename it dot twitch underscore key there it goes open with the text editor then paste in the the number you got from over here just copy and paste it over here save it and close it and then what you're gonna do is put it right here in your home folder cut and paste it into your home folder it has to be here um, you don't see mine because hidden files are hidden or not being shown but if I push control H and scroll down I should have it in here somewhere or maybe there it is right there I'm not gonna open this one because this one has like I said my personal uh, streaming key so just put it right there and you'll be good to go if you can't see yours once you open it again remember you press control H to show hidden files and folders uh, scroll down dot twitch underscore key let me get rid of this one okay once you have that done make sure everything's in the correct spot dot twitch dot sh I mean twitch dot sh is on your desktop and dot twitch underscore key is in your home folder um, so what you're gonna want to do from here is go to your terminal terminal and type in let's see you're gonna want to type in where is it at where is it at okay here it is step number nine which is sudo apt get install space lot lib av dash tools and enter it's going to ask you for i'm not going to press enter but because i already have it installed but it's going to ask you for your password you press enter and then it will install some library files for you so that the av conversion can work uh that's important that you get this like i said this uh the link will be in the description to to see this stuff and be able to copy and paste it or i might just put the stuff in the description i haven't decided yet but uh, anyhow once you have all that installed you're going to stay in your terminal and go change cd space desktop change directory to your desktop and then type in period forward slash twitch 
underscore i mean twitch dot sh the same as the file that's on your desktop oh no no sorry about that guys i missed a step you need to make it executable first to do that right click go to prop right click on twitch.sh on your desktop go to properties go to permissions and down here you'll see where it says execute allow executing file as a program go ahead and tick that and hit close like i said i always like to double check to make sure that the thing stuck the, the change stuck and it has so from that point you can go to your terminal change directory to desktop and then type in dot forward slash twitch underscore shell and then enter hmm. why am I getting this error oh I misspelled it <laughs> there we go still misspelled I can't seem to spell twitch okay there we go and then it should start streaming you can go to over here and see it streaming by going to your name and I think your profile I have a terrible connection sorry about that doesn't seem to want to load anything all right let's see oh excuse me okay here it is go to your username and click on dashboard as you can see I'm not an expert at this I just uh, gathered this information off the web and figured it out and just relaying that information so other people can do it maybe you can do it better than me probably can but this this is to get you started as you can see my internet connection is terrible wait for it to load While it's loading, you can see over here some information about your uh, your connection, frames per second, the quality, uh, dropped frames, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you should be able to see it right here. Mine's probably not going to show because of my connection, and I'm screen recording and all that. Yeah, see it timed out down here. But it should be working at this point. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments section. I'll try to get right back to you and uh, show you how to do it. But to stop your connection, though, go back to your terminal, hit Control C, and the connection will stop. And go back to the prompt. And there's some information over here about it. I don't know what it means, but. That should be it. If, like I said, if you have any um, questions or comments, leave them down there in the bottom, and I'll try to help you out as best as I can.